Hey, so we're back. This is day five, the business of blogging for solopreneurs. Now, this is really the meat and potatoes of really where it gets good. And that's why I made it uh, the final uh, part of this blog series. And that's marketing your blog. Because putting the blog together um, is easy. Although you may think it's really difficult, um, you, you may it, it may take you outside of your comfort zone because you're learning something new, but this is the meat and potatoes of where it, all the action begins because how will you get your content or whatever you put out there in front of your target audience? And remember, we talked about target audience and your um, avatar on day three. And so this is where um, this is where the action happens because you can't just automatically assume that once you voila put this blog together, it is now uh, going to be read by your target market. So let's get into it. So I talked about my first point is how to get eyeballs on, into um, onto your blog. So got the caps on. How to get eyeballs onto your blog. And the thing that you want to do is you want to, you need to find out online where your target audience, as well as your avatar, where they hang out. Where would they go to um, basically talk about what it is that they have going on? And so ways that you can find that out is that you can go to forums in your niche. Uh, you can go to uh, Facebook groups in your niche um, or target market. Uh, you can even go to uh, Google Plus uh, groups that are in your niche. And then you have, of course, LinkedIn. And so once again, um, remember, you're, you're putting valuable content out there. Um, like I said, you've already established uh, your blogging voice. You want to have a mix of, you know, solution-based, um, you know, articles or videos or, or um, uh, audios. Um, and so what you're going to be doing is that when you write a blog post, um, you're going to share it. And that is what you're going to do. You're going to share it with what I said. You're going to share it in forums, Facebook groups, uh, Google Plus um, groups, uh, LinkedIn groups. Um, once again, these are all, this all should say groups. And then by this point, and I hope you have it already, is you, of course, want to share it on your personal um, social media accounts as well. Uh, now, keep in mind, um, although you may share it on your personal profiles on um, any of the social media sites, it's a good chance that on your personal profile, you may not be connected to people who are who you want to speak to. So although it may be, you know, it's always good to share it because you never know if someone else is reading it, maybe they'll share it, but you do want to be proactive and have a strategy to make sure that you are also um, uh, strategically going um, to your target, um, where your target audience hangs out. And of course, you want to share it um, on Twitter and, and you know there's so many things that you can do um, I don't want to make this video that long so I don't want to I can't really go into how you would find your groups um, but of course you can use many search functions on any of these social media sites to figure out where your target audience um, would hang out now of course another thing that you can do is find similar people who may be in your niche and what you can do is you can comment on their blogs and see what happens is is that if you comment on their blogs you get a link now like I said you know don't want to make this video too long and too technical but 
Google likes that. Google likes that you are connected with other people that are in your group. Now, let me share this with you. When I was uh, blogging, um, not my first blog, but my second blog, which was more uh, personal finance, debt and credit related, I found a what is called a blog carnival. And what blog carnivals are is that there are other bloggers in your niche and what you do is you all share each other's content. So um, what happens is, is that you make comments, you share other bloggers um, uh, content um, within different social media um, uh, sites they share your stuff so it's like a reciprocal thing going on and what happens is is that whoever reads on their blog a lot of times is going to read your stuff too because remember you want to get your information out there and so of course if I'm in personal finance and that person may be in personal finance you know overall the niche may be you know general but see like i said if you drill down um it can get very niche specific in that space so you definitely want to look out look into blog carnivals another thing that is good is being a guest blogger you can find people who are in your niche and find out if they have a, a guest blogger um, opportunity for you to write a blog on their um, a article on their blog. Because what happens is, is that when you write an article at the bottom of uh, will be a signature, um, they will allow you to link your blog. And so here you are, you're linking your blog to their blog. And the good thing is, is that their readers will see your information. And many websites will have maybe a tab or something and saying, you know, we welcome guest bloggers. Um, of course, they may check your website out to see, you know, how, you know what your writing style. Um, once again, a lot of times it is going to consist of you writing. I haven't seen too many guest blogging um, opportunities where people or um, just putting videos out there so once again if you're someone who don't like writing guest blogging may not be for you but if you are a writer definitely want to look into guest blogging and then um another thing is you want to syndicate now syndicate syndicating your content would basically almost fall in line with what I said up on top where I set up here forums um, Facebook groups Google Plus groups or what have you but the thing is is that many um, syndicating um, there's many syndication softwares out there I mean there's Hootsuite um, what is it it's Buffer Post Planner So if you feel overwhelmed and you're like, oh, wow, I don't have time to, you know, you know, link to all the groups, um, this will allow you and this will help you uh, to be able to syndicate and syndicate your content. And there also are other um, bookmarking sites, um, you know, Google, you know, like I said, don't want to get too uh, technical, but Google said a few years ago uh, that what was I going to say that they said bookmarking um, was no longer helping on the uh, search engines but I don't do it um, anymore you know I did do it um, back in 2010 and 2011 um, when I heard about um, bookmarking but you know once again you can look into um, having your information bookmarked um, and there's a site that um, comes to hand um, comes to me it's called social um, adder and that's a bookmarking site um, what it does is that other people kind of post your content or what have you like I said um, you know I, I pr 
pretty much, you know, I, I would prefer the other strategies that I mentioned to you because once again, you want to make sure you get the right eyeballs on your content. I mean, if I'm a divorce coach and I'm looking to um, connect with people who just recently, you know, were divorced and have small children, I really don't want nobody who is into waste lo weight loss looking at my um you know my content I mean you know hey yeah it's good to have eyeballs but so that's why sometimes bookmarking is not a great strategy but there are some people who still do it so once again this is the business of blogging like I said didn't want to make this as too technical because of course there's so many things that you know we can talk about um, you know in terms of like SEO and everything and I mean you can do it just a whole series on SEO and just in case you don't know what that is but that's search engine optimization um, and so th that is a way to get um, eyeballs onto your blog as well um, but like I said I can do a whole series on you know SEO but this is just to give you the basics because like I said I left this part as the last um, part because it is so important you definitely want to market your blog when you do um, create it because don't do the making the mistake like I did and started a blog 2009 and just didn't know I, I mean it was just a big old question mark oh is anybody reading my information and who's reading it and don't forget how can I t totally forget if you have a current um a client base have your current clients or customers read your blog let them know that you now have a blog and if there are any questions and answers that they may have to share them with you and you will do a blog post that's a great way to come up with content you know especially if you have current customers or clients um, make it a ritual to always um, communicate with them by email um, asking them if they have any um, questions that they need answered and what you can do is you can put it on your blog and what you can do is also share it with your customer clients and then once again you can always tell them that if this um, you know answer to this question has helped them you know share it as well to someone else that they may know and that's a great way to syndicate your content and market your blog as well so I'm going to leave it with just that um, you know I, I hope this has been helpful for you um, you know this five part blogging series if you want to learn more about this series and, and you weren't able to see all five parts together um, I have a link that is below this video and basically this link um, will help you I mean well basically you'll see it from part one all the way to part five consecutively day by day um, and then there's also a bonus um, that I am throwing um, in there to help you um, with uh, your blog and that would be a, uh, a content creation spreadsheet and so um, if you you know sign up for the series because you were unable to um, you may have not seen the other parts um, you know you can also sign up there's a link b below this video and you get a spreadsheet content marketing spreadsheet to help you plan your content so once again this is Lorelia hope this has been helpful let me know what you think please leave me a comment share it with somebody else another solopreneur that you may know who is looking to get started with blogging so again this is Lorelia I look forward to sharing more information with you in the next video okay bye bye